Hey guys, okay, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you the number one tool that is helping me grow my YouTube. Part of what grows your YouTube the most is knowing what the heck is going on with your YouTube more. And there's so many things that people don't do. So this one tool, if you implemented this one tool, it will help you grow your YouTube. Let's go. Hi, my name's Cheryl Spangler, and every week I'm dropping videos about marketing and mindset. So if you're like me, you have tried to grow your YouTube for a very long time. I have done over 600 videos and on three different YouTube channels, one for my fitness, one for my real estate, and now this for marketing and mindset. And so I really want to not recreate the wheel. So I have inquired with YouTube experts, YouTubers that have over a million subscribers, YouTubers that have gotten their subscribers in less than two years. And I say that because it still takes time. And this is the number one tool that they use on a regular basis that has transformed their YouTube. And so I'm going to show you where to find it, how to install it and what to do with it. And you know, everything is transparent with me because when I grow, and I go on a journey, I want you with me. So as my YouTube channel grows, you'll be able to say, oh my God, I knew her when she only had like 109. I don't even know how many I have right now, like 109 uh, people. So anyway, there is a tool and it's called, it's up right up here, Tube Buddy. Now I'm going to give some credit to someone who introduced me to this and that is YouTuber Roberto Blake. So I started, uh, you might see some similarities because he's pretty awesome, but let me just tell you first how you do this and how you find it. This is not something you have to necessarily install and I am on a Windows 10 Microsoft Surface and that is my computer and I'm not uh, planning to tell everyone how to do everything on an Apple. So you will have to figure it out yourself. But at this point, all you need to do is go to Google and type in TubeBuddy. Now this is a Google extension. So it's just something that installs in your web browser once you give it access so that every single YouTube channel, including your own, you can see stats and do things that you could never do before. So I have an entire video that I will put in the description where I already went through the basics of what you should do to customize your YouTube channel that includes keywords, channel tags, uh, different video tags, putting in the description, but I will highlight that when I'm inside my YouTube here, just a second, but I'm not going to go through all the details and where to find all that information, but I will link that video and that will talk about the basics. Like if you just opened up a YouTube channel and you're like, what do I do to get it customized? You would want to check that video out. And the reason I, I, I tell you to do that is because some of these things that you can do in YouTube, you can't even do until you get a certain number of subscribers and um, you can't even customize it to some degree until you get videos onto your channel and do some customization. So you have to start customizing first and as much as you can, and then you do some videos and then you get opened up into more things. And so anyway, this is it, tubebuddy.com. You click on TubeBuddy, the official site, and it basically it's free browser extension and mobile app that integrates directly into YouTube to help you run your channel with ease. Now there are some things inside of TubeBuddy that you have that you will be prompted to pay for if you choose to. And I will tell you what those things are and how you can do those for free if you don't want to pay. Um, look, you're going to find in this channel and everywhere online. I'm all about free. And even though I do charge for my marketing membership, simple marketing membership, $17 a month, um, I'm all about finding things for free because we can do a lot for free. Okay. There's not, there's no reason to pay for everything. Okay. Um, I've already installed TubeBuddy, but you would go to this page and then you would say, um, install the Google extension. Okay. So if you're using Google Chrome, you need to be using Google Chrome because Google Chrome extensions are amazing and they allow you to do so many things that you otherwise would just have so much trouble doing. 
So anyway, once you get it installed, it's a matter of click, click, install, done. Now you're ready. You don't have to reboot or anything. And then let's just start by going to uh, your own channel. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice right here once TubeBuddy is installed is that you have to scroll down. Normally, when you go to your channel, you would just start with like whatever your videos are, but it shows you this uh, channel edits, you know, channel edits. And so you can see that once it's installed on your uh, your Google Chrome, it actually shows up inside. So you have to give it access to your YouTube and say it has access to everything, but whatever. And so on this channel, I have 181 videos. I mean, just at a glance, it shows you all kinds of things that you would have to search for and click different places for. Total lifetime views sucks. Okay, you're going to watch me as I grow over the next four to six months to a year to forever. And the last 30 days, I've had that many views. I've had people watch four videos, which, you know, it sucks. Okay, I admit it. But it kind of gives you here, you can say views in the last 30 days, subscribers in the last 30 days, poor me, um, <laughs> and videos in the last 30 days. So I've been slacking. And so I'm going to, um, as of right now, new video every week. I'm not going to overload people by doing one every day. Okay, new video every week auto auto uh, drop that video, get myself set up, um, but it will be relevant and new content anyway. So you can check these stats, initial stats, and you channel tags. This is like, this is the brilliance, okay? Now, if you just did this one thing, you will increase your YouTube count. So you're like, let me figure out what tags I need to put in my channel. By the way, there's channel tags and there's video tags. Your video can have up to 30 tags. Your channel can have way more. I've put thousands in, but I kind of limited mine to what I want it to be. And so my channel tags are this. Now, initially my channel tags were wacky and they were all kinds of things. And so I was like, I went to the channels that I knew had more than 500,000 subscribers. Okay. And that were in my similar niche and it will tell you what their channel tags are at a glance. So I'm going to show you right here. The guy who introduced this to me, of course, is Roberto Blake. And uh, you see his channel tags. The minute you go to anyone's YouTube channel, you see their channel tags. So you can just literally copy their channel tags or uncheck the ones that don't apply to you. I mean, obviously you want some customized to you. That's what I did. I copied some and not off his, some maybe, I mean, he has some similar ones, but, um, and so if you wanted to go to, um, I don't know, it seems that everyone loves Gary V. So let's just do that. For example, you go to Gary V's channel. He's got 2.64 million subscribers as of today, which is April 16th. And, I this. um, yeah. you can see right here that he has only this many channel tags, but you can see what they are. So if you're curious what your competitor's channel is using as channel tags, where people are finding them more or subscribing to them more by, based on search, you can at a glance find out what they're using and you can copy their tags and you can paste them into yours. Now, if you wanted to copy all of these, um, copy to clipboard, you could use all of these. I mean, whether people search Gary V or whether they search Cheryl Spangler or whether they search whoever, I mean, you can actually put Gary Vaynerchuk and Gary V in your channel tags. I mean, like if you want to, I'm just saying, this is how you're going to find the channel tags that most likely getting them searched. It's going to get you searched. There's no reason for you to struggle with free online uh, tag generator websites. Um, when you can literally just go to the people who already have millions of subscribers and say, well, geez, what do they have as channel tags? And so if you want to know where to put those channel tags, I'm going to show you right now. You go up to your face on the top right and you go to YouTube studio. And you go down to <clears throat> settings to channel. And right now I have these keywords, 
Uh, so I only have that many. But if I wanted to paste, control V, paste those channel tags, I would just control V, paste and save. I'll probably go back and take those out because his name is in there. But that is probably the number one thing. So there's so many other things and you can investigate this once you download this free. Um, but let me just show you a couple things. At a glance, um, uh, let's just go up here and click on this. First thing is you click on your dashboard. This is the TubeBuddy dashboard. I, or your playlists, or your live streams, or your comments, or your subscribers, or your analytics, which I go through that in another video. And the extension tools are very important because they allow you to do keyword explorer. Now, this is a keyword explorer. So let's just say you are a self-help channel. It's going to allow you inside of TubeBuddy for free. Okay, initially for free. See how they have like upgrade now? I haven't upgraded because like I said, I like to try everything for free and then I'll upgrade. So you put in the word and it tells you Although this keyword is searched very often, it's bad to target because it's extremely competitive and hard to rank for. So you want to make something more niche, more, more narrowed down. Um, and so then it says, oh, well, the common video tags are, you know, self-care, self and self-love, which I would totally agree. Or if you want to get more specific, you don't want to just say self-help, but you want to say self-help motivation or self-help podcast. Um, which I think those are great ideas. And then you click on action and you can say copy to clipboard. So this that would basically copy those five tags to a clipboard. Now you can start a new list of tags. Um, tags for tube buddy video. And then when I say action, I say copy to tag list test for tube buddy video. So it's a way for me to just like add more, add more, add more. And then at one point I will do it. Now channel tags and video tags are going to literally make or break your YouTube because people are out there searching. So basically tag is hashtag. So if you just go to Twitter, go to Instagram, go to Facebook, go to LinkedIn, and you just type uh, hashtag the pound sign, whatever word, pound self-help, hashtag self-help, you're going to come up with every single post that someone has put out on social media in that social network uh, that had the hashtag self-help or in this case, self-help podcast. So it's a way for people to find things on the internet. I know this is probably like, duh, I already knew that, but there's some people that don't know that. So I want to explain it. So any social network that you are on, you can go to it, for example, on Facebook, and you can type uh, self-help. This is a, I'm digressing here, um, but let's just say um, hashtag self-help. Every single thing on Facebook that has the word self, hashtag self-help, see here, hashtag self-help, is you're gonna come up with that list. And so you can say, well, so me all the people who have hashtag self-help. Well, none, because they're people. All the posts that have self-help, all the groups that have self-help. So basically this is, that's like a side topic. Um, so you can see that after you get a three words, they basically ask you to upgrade. And so if you do upgrade, it's going to give you all these other things, but I want to go through a couple other things. This is just the keyword explorer here. This is just one of the things. It tells you the results. If you type in the word self-help, it's going to say, here are all the videos on YouTube with the word self-help in the title. So this is a way for you to find self-help channels that are bigger than yours, have more subscribers than yours and have more views than yours so that you can go to their, their YouTube channel and you can do something that I'm about to put out a video on called flip a funnel. And so watch for that. It, the video is going to be called flip a funnel and it's going to be like literally funnel hacking sorcery. And so this is just results in videos that have self-help in the title. Also gives you an idea of what to name your title of your video. What's trending in self-help? Well, not enough search volume to show results. Okay. What's historically 
historically, how many people, how many hundreds of thousands of people are searching for self self help right now, right? And worldwide, the past 12 month YouTube search, which this is really, really valuable information. How about happiness? How many people on the internet in YouTube are searching historically in the last 12 months for the word happiness? Well, in June of 2019, it kind of peaked out. Surprisingly, they're not, they're not doing that. So what if you put in coronavirus? Now, this hasn't been around for many years, but bam. So March, they searched a lot. Now it's like down because people are probably like, I'm sick of hearing about it. So the point is, um, how about digital marketing? Which is my thing. It's up. So I want to make sure that I have the word digital marketing, hashtag digital marketing in there or digital space marketing, something. Right. And so it's up and this is, this is just really good information. So anyway, and then you can map it. Now this is just inside keyword search guys, uh, to see where in the country they're doing searches on this keyword, because that's going to be important for you. If you're doing targeting on YouTube ads and Facebook ads, you can say, Hmm, seems like most of the searching is going on. Uh, interested from Nigeria and Angola, which is interesting. Just a little from Brazil, four from the United States. So this is like, anyway, interesting. This is valuable just if you did this one thing. Um, so let's just go back a minute. That was Keyword Explorer. Then there's like SEO Studio, Video Topic Planner, Tag Lists, Best Time to Publish. Um, publish your video in the morning where most of your audience lives. Why? So this is like free information. Publish your video a few hours before your peak traffic hours. So there's endless, endless information inside TubeBuddy, but also a very, very cool thing is um, when you go to your videos. So you go to your videos and you have this new like bar at the top. And this bar wasn't there before. And before I could click on um, my videos, I could let's just say I select all my videos and I want to and I want to like edit that the description or the tags or visibility or something. You can do bulk edits, okay, without TubeBuddy. However, with TubeBuddy, you can do a lot more with your bulk edits. You can do bulk actions on your titles. You can say find a word and replace it with whatever inside every single video. Um, you can do, um, bulk thumbnail overlays. This is amazing and brilliant guys. I'm actually, uh, I'm not going to run through that scenario. Um, bulk, um, let me just click on that one second. Let's say you want to add an overlay. You would create one in Canva. Okay, if you don't know what Canva is, you need to go right now to canva.com right here, canva.com, um, because this is where I create all of my graphics and this is free. I pay for the pro version of Canva and that's because I want to be able to download my my photos uh, tra with transparent background. So there's some things Canva Pro allows you to do, but Canva free is uh, plenty. You don't need to do much more than that. So then you upload an image from your computer, but you got to upgrade. So the majority of amazing features, which I'm going to upgrade this week is in the upgrade, but there are many, many things you can do without the upgrade. So just for those who are wondering, the upgrade license is $19 a month or um, $9 a month or $49 a month. So it just depends. So I have less than 1000 subscribers. So we help the little guy save 50% off by entering your coupon code rising star buddy. And so for $4 and 50 cents a month using this rising star buddy, you can get the pro and that'll open up a lot for you because until you have a lot of subscribers, you don't want to pay a lot of money for just every single tool that you run across. So I will probably upgrade mine this week and get access to that, but that doesn't keep you from downloading TubeBuddy. 
and accessing all the crazy cool things. And then I'll probably do to buddy part two after I upgrade to show you some things you can do inside that. I've already watched a bunch of videos on YouTube about TubeBuddy, so I already know what it can do. I just haven't upgraded. Um, but I think it's important to do the step one for people who just don't want to pay right now and they want to know what they can do for free. So bulk end screen actions, which is pretty cool. Um, you can set it to where at the end, um, at the end of every video, it presents a URL for people to go to. So you really, really want to make sure in YouTube, you want to keep people in your YouTube. So when it recommends other people afterward that you want to avoid that, you want it to recommend your next video. And by doing that, you set what you want to do a bulk update that says, you know, maybe all videos, uh, at the end of the video, it's going to recommend that people click on, you know, SherylSpangler.com, you know, and so some miscellaneous tools. This is like, is it made for kids and stuff like that um, and other things. So <clears throat> COPPA stands for the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. I'm sure you've logged in your YouTube recently and found that bar at the top that says you have to go through and update whether your uh, videos are for kids. I basically did a bulk update that stated all of my videos on my YouTube are not for kids because I just don't want to mess with having to decide which ones are, which ones aren't because I might cuss or say something and I just don't want them to ding me. But in this case, you can say, I don't know. And so it does a scan of all of your public videos to find out which ones are channel are, are kid friendly. All your content is currently rated as not made for kids. So, I mean, it's, if it's something you want to do, you can do that. And, um, are you missing out on revenue because of demonized videos that you don't know? Let TubeBuddy find them for you. Videos with limited or no ad. Um, we did not find any demonized videos. Yay. Or you can do a backup. How many people can do back are doing backups? Like really? What happens if your entire YouTube channel gets taken down? Do you want the text? Do you want the description content? Do you want the video content? Like video ID, channel ID, title, tags, description, privacy. Like you want that. Only backup videos since my last successful backup. You want to back up. Um, you got to upgrade to do that. That's something like no one's backing up their YouTube, okay? You've heard about people who have had their entire channel taken down. This is something you might want to think about. Back up your videos. And you can schedule. You don't have any videos scheduled or to be published or to be sunsetted. So I will be scheduling videos right now. Um, I'm doing batch creating. And so batch creating means I'm creating four to five to six videos. And then I'm going to set them up to distribute. And inside of... Okay, so one of the things I wanted to mention was... Once you scroll over a video, this is really cool. Once you scroll over a video, there you see a little TubeBuddy icon. And here you can do all kinds of things just on this one video. And I know that this could take hours and hours and hours. That's why I'm just highlighting the things that you might want to do. One, you want to do channel tags. Two, you want to do video tags. Three, consider backing up your, your YouTube channel. Four, you can do bulk updates. Um, you want to make sure at the end of your video that you're directing people exactly where to go. You, If you want a thumbnail that hovers and displays over the video, you can do that up here. But also the big thing is you go to the video and you click on the TubeBuddy little icon here and you can, you can say, you can tell what you want to do at the end of that particular video and you can publish to Facebook, okay? So if I click publish to Facebook, you don't know have any Facebook pages linked. Oh, yes, I do. Um, well, let's go ahead and add it right now. Oh, inside of TubeBuddy. So this is, like I said, you got to give TubeBuddy access to everything. Um, sure, because yes, I've got pages and everything. I just haven't. Good. I'm glad I'm doing this right now because you're learning as I'm do as I'm going through it. And so, yeah, let's give TubeBuddy access to publish to my Facebook because you want to be doing this. You want to publish to Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and everything. 
Um, so let me just continue and it's going to say, okay, what pages do you want it to have access to? Uh, I'm going to do the Cheryl show. Um, I don't really do anything with that anymore, but so basically just the Cheryl show. For TubeBuddy. Manage your page, publish to your page. Now the big question is, Facebook likes you to upload videos directly to Facebook. They love you when you upload directly. They don't like you so much when you just link YouTube. Why? Because then when people are on Facebook, it takes them away from Facebook and takes them to YouTube. We're back to um, my video where I clicked on the TubeBuddy icon and I said publish to Facebook. So I'm correcting myself here. Facebook loves when you directly upload your videos. They don't like it when you link to YouTube, like I said, because it takes them off Facebook onto YouTube. But with TubeBuddy, it's actually going to upload the video to Facebook. You're not just linking people to YouTube. So this is brilliant, number one brilliant. And as I go through every little intricate thing and do some of these things for the first time, I'm learning just like you see so you're on my journey, okay? But this is very, very cool. And I will do a TubeBuddy part two um, because this is what Facebook loves. And so it's going to add to the timeline, include the thumbnail, and it's going to um, do the video. So you got to find the video that you did. Make sure you organize all your videos when you do them on your hard drive. And then you can easily find it and say publish to Facebook. Um, and so let me just go back here a second because I want to do um, not just publish to Facebook, but um, share on Twitter which actually, no, I don't want to share this on Twitter because that's my, this Mockingbird, I already did that. Um, um, let me just pick a video that I can do. Oh, this one is step-by-step -step how to create, set up, and publish your podcast. Check out my latest video, how to create and publish monetize a podcast. Attach a thumbnail. Include posted by TubeBuddy. In order to take that off, you got to actually upgrade. So I'll post tweet. Now, you can view your tweet or whatever. So this is just a. Thanks for watching. You guys catch me on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know, like, don't just watch, okay? And the next video I'm going to do is called 10 Things That Are Holding People Back from Building Email Lists. And if you're one of them, check out that video.